What's up, folks? Carolina Cat Daddy. It is snowing in South Carolina. Let me show y'all what it looks like. What's up, folks? Carolina Cat Daddy. Crazy redneck fishing in the snow. <laughs> we're gonna uh, we're gonna try this again, y'all. We got uh we got a little window of opportunity. Me and my dad's gonna try and finish up my motor today. So we got I got a few hours to try and catch a fish. Uh, me and Junior went out last night, and had some fun in the snow. We was gonna try to go fish last night, but Junior's boat's messed up. It'll still, it's stuck in safe mode. So we can still fish with it, but we was kind of worried about the ramp and all that. So we let it go. And we actually just went and played in the snow and went to the casino. Kings Mountain's got a casino. That's the first time I've been to it. I wasn't that impressed. I like actually, if I'm gonna play, I like to play something I got control over, not uh. Not the bank slot machines, but uh, still had a good time. Me and Junior always have a good time, but like I said, we got a couple hours to try and stick as a pig. All right, we got a couple of, couple of days old shad. They're still in good condition. Been taking care of them. not being stingy with the bait because if we want to go fish again we're gonna buy some new bait basically what we're fishing we're fishing a bottleneck um a pathway a travel way really fish don't hang here so to speak they more or less uh travel right here so that's that's the tactic today i do pretty well in areas like this start to learn a lot y'all and uh it ain't you know I get help here and there, but this is this is from time on the water. This is spending your time out here many hours and not catching fish. That's basically <laughs> what it teaches you. You ain't just gonna show up. I don't know, some people are lucky like that. You can just show up and catch fish all the time, maybe. Uh, not me. That'll work for my fish. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. A landing here a landing a fish here is tough if the water's down you got a lot of room to play but uh we ain't got no room to play here today all this snow we've had it's uh i get out of there it's been uh we got plenty of water in the lakes now we've been in dang near drought uh conditions for a very long time but it hadn't got so bad where the ramps are closed, but it was very, very close. Now fishing a situation like this, you got to be very careful, very slick. It's about a six, seven foot drop down. You do not want to land in that water in January. I actually fell off the bank two years ago in February, and my goodness, it was horrible. It's about a 15 foot bank. 
I left my net at that particular spot. You couldn't get down on the bank, which plays a big factor in me. What happened to me after I fell in? But uh, in that particular spot, you had to use a net. Well, I left my net at home. I caught about a 15-pound fish, and I laid over the bank, and I had enough room to reach down and grab him. And once I grabbed him, I was good, but he flicked his tail, and it threw me off balance. And there's still marks. One day, I might go ahead and take a video for it. You can still see, two years ago, you can still see my feet where I got to a point, and I was teetering. And I was, I was hanging on with my toes, y'all. And uh, finally, he kicked again and it was over with. I went in head first, landed beside him, grabbed him, threw him on the bank. And I had to walk down the bank, uh, I want to say 30, 40 yards before I get to a spot where I could climb up. February, it was very cold. I was deep in the woods. I had to get all my stuff up. To get all my stuff out of there, I had to walk up and down a huge hill twice. And uh, I'm telling you what, I had to get my car just soaking wet. I mean, I was head first, you know, I went head first into the water. It took everything I had to get up out of there. And thankfully, I didn't live far from there. So it was a, it was a very bad situation. So you got to be very careful and very aware. That day it wasn't slick or nothing, you know, that was really my stupidity, but you know, you live and learn. The only time I fell in the lake there. I fell in the river one time we was, uh, whitewater rafting and uh the guy that pulled me out with a with a paddle I, it slipped out my hand and come back and hit him in the face and busted his face open that was pretty pretty bad for him and uh tell you what i fell in that river and i thought it was cool at first and it really wasn't because i went down the river for a while before they got me and uh i was going about probably 20 30 mile an hour felt like butts just hitting rocks that was pretty rough but like I said, we don't have long. Only got a couple hours, so that's why I chose this spot, because this spot usually I can pick something up pretty quickly. If they're move if they're moving around. If they're not moving around, we're not gonna catch a fish. Yeah, I promise you, I just threw this rod in 45 seconds ago. And something already picked it up and moved it in. Pretty quick. All right, y'all. We tried really hard to catch y'all fish in the snow. We, uh, we actually come out here, I don't know, about a week week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, and caught a pretty decent fish. Been out here fishing late Wiley, I think three days straight. It was mainly crappy fishing, then we started catfishing there at the end. On that last trip, I caught COVID, y'all. And uh, that took everything I had to get up out of the daggum boat, out of the water. I left my boat here. It took everything I had to get home. My dad had to come get the boat out of the water for me. Um, so we've been down about three days, two days. And I decided, uh, I felt better today, so I decided to come out here. Come do a little bank fishing set up. Uh, ain't even turned the camera on and, uh, woo! It's a nice one there. Uh, I guess I'm gonna weigh him and tag him. There he is right there. That ain't bad for a COVID fish, huh? We're gonna get a weight on him. We're gonna, go, we're gonna see what he weighs. I think he's over 30. I'd say he's over 30. We're gonna weigh him and see. All right, y'all, he's 28 pounds. We're gonna tag him. Stick a tag in your boy, huh? There we go. Cat that I got you. All right, we're gonna go let him go. All right, y'all, this was a little task landing him. We had to shimmy down this bank. Uh, all right. Big old dark fish. You know, you don't see these a lot in the lake. He's a more of a river type fish, but there's some guys that be catching these fish at the river and 
letting him go in the lake. He's been in out the water for a minute, so we're gonna make sure. He seems like he's got a lot of energy. Cat that it tagged you, boy. Huh? Cat that it tagged you. What's crazy, y'all, is I got 10 rod and reels, and uh, I think four of them don't have clickers. So I only brought. Yeah, he's got plenty of energy. I only bought, brought. Uh, three rods with me i brought a crappy rod too and would you know that here on the bank you know i always run these clickers so <clears throat> would you know i brought one without a clicker so i got this one like beat way into the ground and i had it real loose and that's the one he hit he gave a good fight i wish i would have set the camera up i got a new phone with a good camera i took some shots missed a couple more fish um, they saw fighting and it's real narrow through here so they're running sideways as soon as they get on it so kind of tough to get them sideways fish it's uh it's getting chilly i still am sick um it's about to rain too i wanted to come out here and fish right before it rained which is what we did and uh we caught a good fish missed three others and uh that last one it it's hard to say, but he felt like he had some size on him. But uh, I think what we're gonna come back in the morning, we're gonna let this rain come through and then uh, let that pressure drop back down and we're gonna hit him again in the morning. So we're gonna give it a couple more minutes and then we'll see you in the morning. I normally catch pretty good fish here. I've had quite a few good trips here. I fished the boat here, I fished the bank here. It's a pretty decent little spot. But we just ain't don't like we're gonna get nothing done today. And I can't stay here much longer. We're about to go work on my boat motor. I think we're about to get it put together today. It's gonna to be awesome. I think I, I, my water pump's still good on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a new one. I don't know if my dad ordered one yet or not. So we got to figure that out. So if we don't have a water pump, we can't quite put it all together. But if we get the whole motor put back together, that's gonna to be a lot of progress. And that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be pretty exciting. But uh, I thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna stick out here about another 15 minutes. If y'all don't see me again, it's the end of the video. Thank y'all so much. Uh, if you ain't subscribed, won't you hit me a subscribe? Hit that subscribe button for me. And we're going to keep fishing. Thank y'all. I'm going to throw up a couple videos too. Here's some, some of my good videos. If y'all ain't seen them, y'all check them out. But I appreciate all y'all. Should have the shirts printed up maybe this week. We'll see. But we'll see y'all in the next one.